practice, what's it like to see you kind of put it together in the game with the opportunity? Yeah, we've seen it a bunch. Um, Kenyon's a, a talented guy, and I think for a lot of guys, I think it's just when they get the opportunity and their name's called, uh, you know, you're able to see what they can do on the field. But definitely exciting for him, and I, I think it's something that he's been working for this this whole time, and you know, now we're able to see it. So proud of him. Another big matchup this week in Austin Stadium. Just what have you seen from Illinois' defense, and what can you tell fans about what to expect from the Fighting Illini this week? Yeah, they're they're tough. Um, they're physical. Uh, they play a good brand of football, and you know I think their whole organization represents that. And uh, it's gonna be a great matchup. You know I think when you look at college football, these are the kind of matchups you look forward to, and I want to see great teams play against one another. So um, they've done great up until this point. I, I actually know a bunch about Luke. Um, kind of coaches that cross paths, so have watched him play and watched his journey as well. Um, so it, it's it's cool. Maybe impressed you most in terms of where he's gotten. Obviously, having a career season. Yeah, I think just playing in similar uh, styles of play. You know, there's his first stop, or even you know his second, my my third. You know, just similar coaching styles, and um, you just see you know a guy who's done really well for himself and and has played you know really good ball. So, um, like I said, I've been familiar of him and, and uh, known of him for some time. So, uh, you know, I definitely watch those guys. You know, whenever I, I can. You see from 17 Akis and just what makes him a disruptive defender for them. Yeah, I think their their whole front, I think uh they've done a really good job at winning their one-on-one matchups. I think you look all season, the the way they, you know, create turnovers, um, you know, swarm the football, extremely uh physical at the point of attack. I think you, you see that all and it jumps out on, on tape. Um so we'll have our hands full and then this is a team that, you know, has played really well. So yeah. Really easy throwing the deep ball. I know it's not, but how how did you get so good at it? I mean, you're dropping in the bucket for Evan, one of the best throws we've seen for a while. Yeah, I think reps and experience. You know, not not a lot of people, you know, have have that amount of snap count. You know, I think from a young age, whether it's starting as a freshman in high school or been doing the same in college, I think just all those snaps added up um, is something that you know you. You can't get, you know, it's, it's something you got to be thrown in the fire and, and, and learn on the go. But uh, you just get better as, as you go. And, um, you know, I think when I was a young and I, I definitely had my fair share of, of deep balls that weren't the, the prettiest. But you got to throw them to even have a chance at getting better at them. So uh, that's how I looked at it. How big of a weapon is that for your guys' offense, just the deep ball like that? Huge. I think explosive plays, you know, and, and you know, anytime you, you do that, whether it's you know, uh, a deep ball, or you just see it uh, come down with it. I think there's momentum uh, with that as well. Um, and then that big playability, I think that's something that, like I said, instead of having, you know, 15 play drive, turn into a three or four or five play drive. And um, that definitely helps, you know, I know. What was it about this past week? We saw more like left hash to right out. And that was extremely difficult throws. I think you had three of them to Evan specifically. What was just about it that can, can explain to people how hard a throw that actually is still because he plays three of them. Yeah, I really think. Well. Yeah, I think uh, things we rep, things that we're uh, <laughs> really confident in. I, I think there's something to it too. You know, the guys going down there and, and making plays. You know, and uh, Evan's really talented at creating separation and uh, making it easier to throw on my part. Or uh, when it is a contested, you know, uh, catch, he, he's killing it in that way. So uh, I, I just try to continue to look at it. It's, it's a group effort. It really is. You know. It, a great throw is only a great throw when there's a great catch and uh, a block up front. So it's kind of all working in unison, and and we're that's what we're focused on. I know that the mentality with the number one ranking is who cares, but as one of the the leaders of this team, how do you help instill that mentality among the players? I think by not caring, you know. To and sorry, I, I don't want to. I want to answer your question, but the truth is, not caring is how we got up into this point as well. So not forgetting what uh, got us up into this point, and I say that in the season, you know, and, um, you know, winning games. But um, the beauty of it is we, we got a game to play this weekend, and you're only as good as your your last matchup, and and uh, that's what we're focused on. Who's that guy on the defense who's kind of the, the counter to you in practice in terms of you talk a bit? So who's the – is there anybody in the secondary who kind of jars with you practice-wise? I think they all do. I try to get after Kobe Savage. Uh, that's kind of we played against each other before, and he always brings that thing up. But uh, I go after him more verbally. 
Um, and then Jabbar and Nico are two guys that uh, are extremely competitive. They don't really talk, but they're just, I think the competitive nature you feel, you know, when, uh, when you compete against them. Um, and then, you know, whenever Jay Birch is on the field, that's a guy too I, I uh, uh, go at. But that's, that's all fun and competition. And I think you appreciate that kind of stuff, you know, when, you know, you're going play to play or uh, competing within a play, you, you see guys that uh, want to win. And then, you know, everyone raises that level. So, um, you know, using practice as a competitive edge is, is huge. And um, you got to have that. On a, I guess a personal level, what's it like when a, a good friend of yours, Terrence, has an appendix, kind of in a surprise procedure? What, what kind of the emotions there? And how is that for you? Uh, it's it's tough. You know, I hate it for him because I love him. You know, and he's, he's a guy that I've seen put in a bunch of work. Um, but he's also a guy, you know, the day after we got – my uh my fiance Zoe cooked some chicken soup, chicken noodle soup first. We we walked over, we we gave him some love and attention, you know, but um you know, you see him walking around and, and uh I think you just see a guy who's just so forward thinking, you know, it didn't necessarily affect him in any way, um mentally. So I I, I love that about him and uh this morning we actually drove into to work today, so had a nice little conversation in the drive in, but He's a good dude. He's my best friend. So it's, like I said, I hate it for him, but I'm always supporting him. You're approaching a lot of career milestones coming up here. What will passing Timmy Chang and career passing yards mean to you? If all the other ones, yeah. whatever. You yeah. want to tell me that you don't care, but I'm sure you do. But that sure. one, what, is, what is the significance of that one? I think the only significance is I've played a bunch of football, you know? And I think that's what you look at it as. You, uh, you know, you, you played with a bunch of, you know, in my journey, and I don't like to look back because I'm, I'm right here, but you uh, you realize that you've been around a lot of great coaches, players, uh, offenses, you know, and scheme that, uh, you know, just expanded my knowledge of the game and um, how I see it. But um, I try to use that to my advantage now. You know, I, that's what I look at it as. It's, it's production, so there's something that has been done right, but there's always something you can get better at, and you got to look at it in that way. And, uh, you know, just how coaches do look at, you know, their track record of, of how they've done their offense. You know, I, I look back in that, how can I get better? And you look at my tape from my first snap as a freshman to now, it's night and day different. So um, if anything, I think you got to look at it as I'm a believer in development and, and growth. And uh, I look at that from my first snap to, to now, how can I continue to evolve and get better? Um, but truth is, I, I want to keep throwing touchdowns. I want to keep winning games i want to keep uh throwing yards so that's a part of getting better as well so i'm not going to sidetrack the statistics but the main goal is winning you know i i won't look at that and be like oh my gosh you know that, that'll make I'll, I'll look back when we win games and you're able to celebrate it with a bunch of teammates that's stuff that you can take away from the game you can't take those stats with you you know so i'm i'm big on wins i'm big on the team and and just focus on that because you know, the, the rest will play itself out, um, but for the most part, I don't necessarily care about it, but.